Okay, I've not made a video for a while, but this is uh, the new air source heat pump that I've installed. So, it's a second hand dream unit. Dream unit. It's 10 kilowatts per hour and it's currently heating my pool to about 18 degrees you see they're in and out and it's currently off um, I had a little bit of confusion about the bypass valves but the way I've run that not very often you see a cat on a fish pond video um, so ultimately what was happening was um, water was coming out of here from my filter straight through there and straight under the decking so what I've done now is I've branched off to the heat pump returned back to the heat pump uh, on this side and then I've got this little uh, valve here which I can use to um, basically just shut off uh, this direct flow and um, that's classed as a, a, I believe a bypass valve so that's how I've done it there and apparently it's more efficient to do it this way around and cut off the natural flow than it is to put it between the uh, the inflow and the outflow from the actual heater itself that's my understanding anyway so like I say that's currently heating the water to 18 degrees I do find it a little bit noisy when it's on um, and just for the benefit of others that have got a dream heater, I'm just going to turn off now and I'm going to go over to the uh, function menu just to see how it will work. Okay, so this is the dream on. And if we press that, that turns it off. We've got modes here, which defrost, cool and heat. And by default it's heat. And if we go into the set menu then we can go through a range of parameters oops, sorry a range of parameters and the ones that I'm interested in are zero because if you've got it in cool mode that is the cool temperature you're trying to achieve and if you have it in one that is the heat temperature that you're trying to achieve so you can see I've just turned it down to 16 it was 18 uh, so it's a cold day, it's about 12 degrees outside, so I've just had it on actually trying to get up to 18. I thought that was a bit warm, so I've brought it down to uh, to, to 16 now. Uh, if you leave it for a few seconds, oops, if you leave it for a few seconds, then it goes back to the, uh, the main page again. So again, if you go on set, there's the parameter of 16 degrees uh, that I want it set to, and it says it's currently about 18 degrees. Uh, you've got all sorts of settings there, that's the defrosting cycle length, uh, I think the defrosting cycle set temperature, and then to be honest the rest of them I'd have to look at the manual uh, for, but these are all the different parameters, some you can set and some are default. And I think that's pretty much it, so if we let it go back now to the standby mode, which give it 5 seconds, and it's in standby mode, so we turn it on now, and there is the machine running so it's telling me that it's going in at 18 coming out at 18 degrees so currently it's maintaining temperature and like I say I've just set it down to 16 so actually it's going to cool off now um, and drop down to maintain 16 degrees because that's where I'm deciding to, uh, to, to try and sit it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.